fucking way, boy. Boy ain't no 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 way, boy. Fucking way, boy. Boy ain't no 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 way, boy. I got the old head hairline. Let them niggas know, man. What's going on? If I was in Philly, it might be sharp. You know what I'm saying? That shit is sharp. Good looks. That shit Star Trek sharp. I've already recorded this video, but for some reason, it did not save. But because I like y'all so much, I'm willing to re-record it. So, let's jump into the tools that have best helped me along my beard journey. Let's go ahead and get it, man. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, JMO704. And on today's video, man, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the best tools that I have here in my arsenal that have created the beard that you see before you today. Let's jump straight into it, man. So the first thing that I got here in my arsenal, my trimmers. Uh, I got the Andes T outliners. These have been my old faithfuls for quite some time and i actually got to get a new blade for these but having a pair of trimmers in my arsenal has not only saved me time but it's also saved me money and it's also given me the extra added convenience of being able to trim my beard as necessary you know because sometimes man your beard might grow a little too quick and you know you don't necessarily have time to go to the barber shop listening to folks talking i mean granted you know the barbershop it's a safe haven for us but at the same time man when your time is money hey you ain't got time to waste so you know having a pair of trimmers on deck has really uh helped in terms of convenience and time next tool that i have here is part of my beard arsenal is my straight razor having a straight razor you know, in my beard arsenal, you know, really kind of helps me get my beard line extra crisp. You want to see how I line up my beard, man, I'm going to link the video up here so y'all can go ahead and check that out. Reason I like using a straight razor on my beard is just for the simple fact that, you know, sometimes my trimmers may not get as sharp and as crisp as I wanted to. But then whenever I come through with that straight razor, man, that just, you know, adds that, that, that finishing touch to my beard so you know if you don't have a straight razor already in your arsenal man go ahead and pick you up one they're super cheap super affordable i mean you can get one for probably about 10 bucks or less at your local beauty supply store next two that i have as part of my beard arsenal and let me just say this man if you don't have this as part of your beard arsenal i can't even really call you a a true bearded brother a true beardsman if you don't have this and what I'm talking about is beard oil if you have a beard this is mandatory I don't care if you come to my channel or any other bearded content creators channel we all gonna tell you that you need beard oil as part of your beard arsenal one you know because you need to nourish the skin up underneath your beard and two you know that beard oil is going to help in terms of sealing in and locking in that moisture so if you do not have a beard oil uh you know you can get you some beard oil from classic grooming this is actually the x factor from bearded existence uh, i'll make sure i leave a link down in the description so you can go ahead and copy some of this but regardless if you go to classic grooming or you know, you choose another beard oil, it's mandatory. You need to go ahead and copy so, some. The next thing that I have in my beard arsenal, um, I might, I'm gonna put both of these together. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put both of these together. And that is having a beard balm and a beard butter. Both of them are essential in terms of, you know, overall just styling your beard, but then also, adding that extra layer of moisture shine and all of that good stuff man for me i have my beard butter i'm rolling with 
classic grooming and for my beard balm i am rocking well at least for today i'm rocking with evan alexander grooming i'll make sure that i put links to both of these down in the description but for me what i like to do with with my butters is you know i like to use it as part of my nighttime grooming routine if you haven't checked out my nighttime grooming routine i'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a link up there so y'all can go ahead and check that out after you check out this video but for my nighttime grooming routine i like to use a butter after i've applied my beard oil my leave-in conditioner which i'm gonna get to next and you know and it just kind of helps with locking in that moisture and it also helps with you know just styling your beard and all of that good stuff in the daytime as part of my morning routine you know for me and what works best for my beard you know is i like using a beard balm i like using something that's a little bit thicker i like using something that is going to you know really kind of hold my beard in place you know really tame those flyaways uh throughout the day and so you know for me i like using a beard balm and so you know uh, for my beard balm, of course, I'm using uh, Evan Alexander Grooming's uh, beard balm. So, you know, beard butter, beard balm, both essential in your beard grooming routine. Make sure you get you some. Next thing that I got in my uh, arsenal, you know, whenever it comes to having this nice ass beard, is a leave in conditioner. Now, um, the leave in conditioner that you know that has really helped me and it's really been a game changer for me has been uh this leave-in conditioner from classic grooming and you know the reason why you know it's essential that you have a leave-in conditioner whether it's classic grooming or you know i also like evan alexander's uh leave-in conditioner as well but there's other ones out there that you can try also but um but the primary reasons why i like using a leave-in conditioner is because it's going to help with detangling your beard especially if you have like a super thick coarse and curly beard such as mine you know it really kind of helps in terms of you know detangling you know making your beard more manageable whenever you run your pick or your comb through it and also it's going to help with you know keeping your beard uh, moisturized and hydrated especially here since we here in the summer man you know that's that's super essential and i know y'all like and you talk about summer you got on a hoodie you damn right i do because i'm in the crib and the ac is on and i'm feeling good but anyway the next tool that i have that has been an absolute game changer for me has been this beard guard uh it's pretty much kind of like a bonnet or do rag uh for your beard it has a satin lining which is really good for your beard in terms of you know it's not getting uh dried out throughout the night you know because sometimes if you sleep on a on a cotton pillow or you know a cotton pillow case you know your beard might dry out or you know you might get some products on your on your pillow case or you know just stuff like that but um but you know but having that beard guard has been a uh, game changer for me in terms of you know just locking in that moisture throughout the night man so the beard bonnet beard guard that i do have it is from uh, a company called beard guard i'm gonna put the link in the description for them as well so you can go ahead and copy one of those and i mean i ain't gonna front you might look a little funny rocking one of these but i guarantee you that you know that you will like the end results of you know consistently wearing that so, uh jumping into you know the next couple tools man that i have in my arsenal now now this next one here for me uh man has just been a really valuable resource man and that is what y'all are watching me on man youtube you know youtube has been a super valuable uh resource to me right around 2017 was right around the time that you know that i really started taking my beard you know really seriously and uh and i was even on instagram trying to teach folks about beers and, and that type of deal before i even uh came here on youtube being able to jump on here and search for you know beard related content in terms of you know best beard products best beard oils um the best beard care routines you know 
um, I ran across some really great content creators, you know, here within this bearded space, man. You know, content creators such as, you know, bearded existence, you know. That's how I got the whole, you know, twist your beard routine. I mean, that's that's where I got that from. Um, you know, be the barber, you know, when he talks about how to how to edge up your beard, you know, um, picked up a lot of valuable content from him. Uh, black man's beard or or be with the beard you know I picked up a lot of uh, great information from him Dan C bearded you know he just has a wealth of knowledge you know whenever it comes to you know just different beard products um, you know I mean he has some some pretty uh, some pretty interesting topics man that I've gained a lot of knowledge from and you know and I'm just appreciative of those guys man and they're part of the reason why you know I'm here on YouTube and just sharing with you guys my um, my beard journey, uh, the products that I use, you know, the routines that that I use, and and uh, and just hoping that you know the information that I give is a value to to you all, man. So you know, uh, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I'll make sure that you know I put links to all of their channels down in the description. Make sure you go and follow them if you're not already. I'm pretty sure that y'all probably are. I mean, these are vets and OGs here in this uh, bearded community, man, and um, and I'm proud to be a part of the community, man. So you know, shout out, shout out to all of them. Man. Last couple tools, man. Next one, diet and exercise. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am a personal trainer, so you know, health, fitness is you know is of the utmost importance to me, and you know, whenever it comes to having a healthy beard. It's important that you know that you're getting adequate water intake. It's important that you are exercising. I mean, you don't necessarily have to train to be an IFBB pro or to be on the Mr. Olympia stage, but you know what I'm saying? Making sure that you're active at least three, four times a week, man. You know, get that, get that testosterone pump and get your ass up off the couch and go do something with your life. You know what I'm saying? But then outside of that, Making sure that you know that you're nourishing your body in the way that you should, you know, by consuming, you know, whole foods, uh, getting adequate, you know, protein intake, uh, carbs, fats. You know, if you need any help with that, hey, y'all already know I got you. You know what I'm saying? You can DM me on uh, on Instagram, man, and we can chop it up and see if I can help you in terms of creating a training plan, meal plan, and all that good stuff, man. Hey. I'm definitely here to help. Just making sure that, you know, you're fueling your body in the way that it needs to in order for, you know, you to have a healthy, strong, good looking ass beard. You know what I'm saying? Something that you can really be proud of. And my last tool in my arsenal, man, that has really helped me um, these past eight years, that's how long I've had my beard, man, is, you know, uh, what I preach here at the end of it, each and every video, man, is just having patience and, and consistency. Um, growing a beard, of course, it don't happen overnight, uh, but it does require some patience and some consistency. But you just can't be ready to cut your beard at the at the point of that awkward phase. You know what I'm saying, where you don't know if you're coming or going, and you know you got to be consistent whenever it comes to your your routines you know making sure that you know you're uh you're exercising making sure that you're fueling your body making sure that you're getting adequate rest making sure that you know you're using quality products you know and um and just learning everything that you can about your beard and being consistent each and every day or as consistent as you can be it doesn't work like you do it one day and then you don't have to do it no more you gotta keep you gotta keep doing it if you want your beard to be uh, healthy if you want your beard to grow if you want your beard uh, to you know have that shine to it man you know you gotta be consistent with you know everything you don't have to necessarily be perfect because that that's not what I'm preaching here you know you don't have to be perfect but you do got to be consistent so you know um, so man I hope those tools uh, really helped you all especially for maybe some of you guys that are you know just starting out on your beard journey man maybe you've had your beard for a while and you know maybe you're just at a sticking point and you know you kind of needed some some extra tools man and I hope that this video uh, was able to give you guys some extra tools man 
So with that being said, man, I'm going to link some other videos up here for you guys to check out. And if there's anything that you ever want to do in life, remember that it requires patience, consistency, and more importantly, it don't happen overnight. See y'all on the next video. Peace.